It's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is make sure that you ask which photographer from the company that your client is hiring is actually going to attend the wedding and shoot it. So what happened to me is I was working with a gentleman who had been around for a very long time. However, I had never had the opportunity to work with him. So at 30 days before the wedding, I like to have a final vendor meeting where all the vendors meet, not at the same time, <clears throat> at their given time. And when I invited him to come at his time, he called me and said, oh, I don't need to talk through any timeline. I've been doing this for over 25 years. I'll show up, I'll shoot the wedding, no big deal. Well, as a planner, we all know most brides want things their way and in a, in a unique way. And it was really important for this bride to stay on schedule. She was type A. One of the reasons she hired me to make sure that everything happened on the shot list and so forth. So come the wedding day when I'm outside and loading my car, a young girl comes up to me and says, is the bride here yet? And I said, no, she'll be here in a few minutes. Are you one of her friends? Are you one of the bridesmaids? I was gonna introduce myself. And she said, no, I'm the photographer. And I said, you're the photographer? I, I thought our photographer is so-and-so. You might be at the wrong wedding. And she said, oh no, that's my dad. I'm his daughter. I shoot weddings for him sometimes. And I thought to myself, great. So the bride's not gonna be happy with this, obviously. So I said, so your dad's not coming? He, do you have a second shooter? Is it just you? And she said, no, I can handle it. It's just me. She looked like she was about 15 years old, which again, would have been fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old you look. That's not the point. The point is, is that the entire cocktail hour reception, once again, I'm babysitting, making sure that she's getting the shots that I knew the bride wanted. Even though she had the shot list, she never looked at it once throughout the ceremony throughout cocktail hour. So as the bride and the groom were having a private meal and I was getting ready to transition the guest over into the tent for dinner, I made sure that she, well, I went, let me back up. I made sure that she got the full shots of the tent and all the detail shots before I invited the guest over because brides want that. And as a planner and vendors, they want those shots too. So she was sitting down over in cocktail hour amongst all of the guests with her feet up on access furniture, texting on her phone. And I walked over and said, excuse me, have you had the opportunity to shoot full room shots of the tent because the guests are about to transition over? She never looked up at me. She never made eye contact. She's like, I'll get to it. I said, okay, well, the guests are about to transition over. And so we have about three minutes to do this. So inside I was fuming. I don't know what she was doing, but when you're hired to shoot a wedding, in my opinion, you're there for the client. You're there to make sure that you're capturing everything that was on that shot list. Again, not my job to babysit it, but I really cared about what my client wanted. So she ended up missing that because some of the guests started to transition over. Cocktail hour was over. And then as the night went on, I had trouble finding her throughout the night. So one of the last things that was supposed to happen is the bouquet and the garter toss. And the bride kept asking me, when are we gonna start? When are we gonna start? When are we gonna start? And guests, guests started leaving. And so even though I sent the photographer a timeline, which she never got it from her dad, classic. Um, I still wanted to try to keep things on time. So I waited five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, looked in the bathroom, ha having people looking around and there was no videographer. So the photographer was it. And the bride was like, I'm not waiting any longer. I wanna do this, we wanna get ready to go. And so finally when the photographer came back into the tent, she's like, when's the bouquet and garter toss gonna happen? I'm like, oh, that was so 20 minutes ago and like 50 minutes ago on the timeline that you never got. So just make sure again, that when you are working with a studio or a team of photographers, which is a big trend right now for senior photographers to hire junior photographers, which again is totally fine. I do the same thing in planning so you can expand your business, but make sure that you communicate to the client and the planner so their expectations are met. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.